I'm Arthur Schleter III with A.E. Schleter Pipe Organ Company out of Lithonia, Georgia. And we have been tasked with uh, restoration of the Catholic Chapel Organ and the Protestant Chapel Organ. In our world, um, this is one of the most iconic instruments that was built, uh, the two of them together. For us, this is the equivalent of being at the Smithsonian. This is something that, you know, when I'm looking at the organ here, I'm in the Louvre. This is something that has that type of special place to it. So when you're dealing with the organ upstairs, we're over 5,000 pipes, uh, or 83 ranks or sets of pipes. When we're downstairs, we have 36 ranks of pipes, and we're dealing with around 2,000 pipes. We're taking everything apart, and a lot of times we see the organ as one solid structure, but every single pipe has to breathe. And for it to breathe, for it to make sound, there is a small leather pouch or pallet underneath every single pipe. There are miles of wiring in this organ. There are things that were built in 1962 and it's all aged as one component. So when you're going ahead and doing restoration, one of the things that you're doing in restoration is that you're replacing all of those organic materials. The process here is definitely much more task oriented on what we're doing to bring things down. A good portion of that is because some of the elevation of this organ is so tall. Walter Holkamp specifically wanted to have the organ looking like it was flying in place. A lot of what you normally might be able to stand on, you cannot. And so in this instance, we're having to build scaffold up so that we can safely bring portions of this down. Uh, we are trying to go ahead and be finished with this portion of the job uh, at the end of May, the first week, week and a half into June. That's kind of what we are trying to work towards as we're working with the other trades. Once we finish this portion, the rest of the restoration will be happening in Lithonia, Georgia. It'll take a few years. Uh, we're going ahead and rebuilding portions of both organs concurrently, but because of the similarities of them, we have to go ahead and make sure that they're separated within our shop because they look very similar. As we're going ahead and handling these pipes, we are touching things that have not been touched literally since 1962. And so it is something that this undertaking, uh, it's special and you recognize it for that. And so this is not only preservation, but this is also history. And the restoration of this organ will be something that we're going to be preserving for a future generation that's not yet born. You know, there are jobs that you call a pinnacle job. This is a pinnacle job, it's actually two of them. And this is something, uh, you know, one of the joys of what we do is that your work outlives you. And so now I have a place here as part of the history of this instrument, and so does our family.